Does it say anything if anybody's waiting? Okay, can you hear me? Um, oh, you know what, my, um, give me one minute. You're on. I'm on? Okay, hold on one second. Video capture device two. Okay, I don't seem to have, uh, okay. All right, well, my little image isn't up today with my face. So you guys can't see my face today. I don't know why that is. But um, regardless, we can start. And uh, you see the reference we're going to have oh, before I start. Karen is here. Hi, everybody. Okay. You see the reference over there to the left. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to draw. Um, I spent the morning... Uh, let me see. I spent the morning doing this uh, demo. He's demoing for my gouache class. I don't know if anybody can see that. I just turned it over and did another one. This was just a quick thing where I just kind of um, got a general uh, broad uh, um, description of what I, what I was painting. What I was trying to teach the class was how to... Uh, paint um, thinking of just the big shapes and also just thinking of value and color temperature and with uh, painting that way also gave them a chance to get used to the um, the ratio of water and paint so you know because they're painting kind of thick um, and then uh, just getting comfortable with that because I know sometimes when you start with gouache it's a little bit difficult to understand or to get that feeling for how much water and how much paint you should use. But that's what I did this morning. I um, I said, you know what, what I want to do right now is I just want to draw. I don't want to paint, I want to draw. So I'm going to draw, and I'm going to draw a pirate. Like I said, there's a reference up there, but I have a whole bunch of uh, things on my screen that I couldn't include on um, the screen that you have. It's just some, some things that I would use for reference. And for inspiration, uh, paintings by Rockwell, uh, NCYF, Dean Cornwell on pirates, some photos of pirates, some drawings by Cornwell, John Basima, and just uh, just stuff that I, I have up in front of me. So kind of give me some inspiration, some reference, not something that I'm going to copy uh, uh, um, right out or anything like that, but just as a, as a helpful guide to me. And included is that the picture that you see on the left, um, also for uh, for reference. Which you guys, this is uh, um, the uh, paint or draw along, so you guys can draw along or paint along uh, to the image that you see in front, okay? Or the image on the left. So I'm just going to uh, not care. I started using, by not caring, I said I'm just going to start not having a real idea of what I'm going to do. I started using these uh, uh, color pencils just to start off with because I see a lot of people do use them and I, and I also saw from these old sketches from um, from the Disney Studios like stuff that animators were working on that they when they did their roughs they did them in these color pencils so I'm kind of doing the same now I'm starting out. One of the things that um, that I learned from also from studying other artists is that sometimes I can start out with that kind of like this mushroom shape, or this um, this uh, uh, what is it light bulb shape, you know, as far as and it gives me the shape of the skull. So I, right there, I, I start out real quick, getting something to build up on, right. So I start that placement of the eyes. I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I want to draw a pirate. I figured let me um, 
let me pick out some kind of uh, uh, general uh, theme, some place to go, and then uh, then from there I just figure out I'm drawing a pirate. Yes. Uh, can I ask you a question? Yes. Are you doing the pirate with the bird? Nope. I'm making this up. Oh, okay. Because um, I I don't know if you know this, but you, what you have on the screen now is not up on my screen. No, it's not. I, I said that in the beginning. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I said that sorry. they can have yeah. that to paint or draw along, but I'm, I have a whole bunch of other reference that I could not fit on that screen. You know, oh, this okay. is So um, that is just there for reference, for inspiration, whatever, but... Um, Okay, and, I'm sorry, part, I didn't hear you. Okay, part of what I have on the screen is that, um, that, that, you see it right here? Yes. That, that particular pirate, but. Okay, well, Gregor's is with us. Oh, he's he said, back. Yeah, he said, hello. <laughs> okay. Like a halo over your head, halo. <laughs> and we have the heroic Holly Quinn, how you oh, doing, girl? Oh, she's back too. Yeah. Yes, she says hi, Gil. Hi, Karen. Finally made it back to a live stream. Great, great. Yeah, glad you're both with us, guys. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm just messing around here. I'm gonna try to come up with a pirate face. Um, let me see. Maybe I could use some of that reference. I don't know how. But I, I wanted a really exaggerated, really rough face. So how I'm going to go over this. This is uh, just to get me started. See, I started out wanting a beard. Now I don't want a beard. Maybe some sideburns. Nah. So this uh, this pencil helps just helps me get down some stuff. And maybe I can do a beard. Yeah, why not? Why not a beard? Oh, okay. Okay. He's got an earring. He's a real old weathered pirate. Okay. Well, Holly Quinn says that um, she's good. She asks how we're doing, and um, she's drawing along today. That's great. Yeah. That's great. I'm glad. Uh, yeah, we're both good. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I know it's a challenge to type. And to draw along, so yeah. Yeah. We got two errands. Okay. So, all right. See, this is a kind of sometimes like a, a um, take my son to school and I have to wait for him sometimes and so I'm sitting in the park and I'm drawing but um, I'm drawing from my imagination as I sit in the park I have a I have a what you might call it uh, how long do I have Karen how many hours do I got uh, uh, waiting yeah uh, about two and a half hours I think one of those. No, three, three, three hours, wait a minute. Yeah. His class is at 12.30, yeah. and he gets out at 3.30. Okay, yeah, three hours. Yeah. yeah, so I have three hours sitting out in the park waiting for him for his class to finish. And uh, sometimes I take, a, I take a, some paper, some pencils, Maybe some pens and a sketch out in the park. Yeah. 
and this is kind of the, the things that the type of stuff that I do I'm just trying to kill time um, so um, you're saying that while you were out there you were uh, drawing some pirates I, uh, time you were there. I was drawing characters. What I do is that I draw characters, and pirates would be one type of character that I draw. But I, I start out thinking, like, when I, um, because I did the, uh, the, the, um, my class this morning, my Zoom class in uh, gouache. Uh -huh. Yes. So I did that this morning, and I, I guess, I guess I didn't want to paint in gouache. I didn't want, I, I wanted to draw. So I was thinking, well, what would I draw? And I said, well, it's kind of fun just to, you know, drawing from imagination is kind of relaxing. And when, when you know, when, when, uh, when you start out drawing, at least for me as a kid, um, the only thing that you draw is from memory or from imagination, right? Oh, uh -huh. You know, if, uh, I remember being in kindergarten, and I do remember they had they would have the easels out for if you wanted to paint, you can go paint. Oh, okay. You remember, so uh -huh. you would paint. You know, kids would go there and they would paint what they remember from being outside. You know, maybe a house or you know. A but in park. kindergarten, I, I, you know what I remember? I remember finger painting. I remember putting your hand in the paint. And put it on the yeah, I remember. So I guess it, it depends on the teacher that you had. We had poster paints. Well, you had a serious art teacher I don't back know. then. Yeah. <laughs> we had poster paints and paints and brushes and stuff like that. And so you know, uh, that's what we would uh, you know if we wanted if we and it was up to us if uh, we wanted to paint. You know, there was like the room was. Uh, yeah, there were several sections to the room. Uh -huh. Paint in one section. I, I don't know. Well, I don't even remember what was the in the other sections of the room. Okay. You know? So uh, I remember that I did. I did like to paint a lot. Okay. So you know. So I would uh, go out and I would not go out. I would go to that area of the room and and uh, paint. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just, at kindergarten, I don't remember, like, um, the days of classes and the things we did, you know. I could pick out one or two things from my memory with kindergarten. Oh, okay. So, yeah. But I, I remember the finger painting, you know. The getting, you know, you would wear a smock. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then you would deal with the paint. You could... You would have a brush, or you could use your hands, and you dip your hand in the paint and put it all on the paper, and you know I remember that. You know, vaguely, and I think they also have what else I remember about kindergarten. I know you're talking in reference to painting, uh -huh. but I I remember uh, we would lie our heads down. And uh, I don't think they do that now, but um, right. we would have a little bit of a nap. And yeah, we yeah, we would do that. Cookies and juice. Cookies and milk. Oh, you had milk? I remember juice. I don't remember any juice. I remember we had milk. Okay, I'm uh, going to wait till you finish. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm going to sharpen these pencils. These are, these are great pencils, by the way. These are... Um, these are the black wing pencils. Um, I have several of these, and this this is my really dark uh, Mitsubishi pencil. Mits Mitsubishi. These are what are these? These are Mitsub Uni Mitsubishi Uni pencils. This is a 4B, and it's a really and some like compared to other uh, pencils, this would be like a 6B. It's really soft, so I, I saved that till the end. Um, so anyway, so you see this pencil is really, really soft as well, and it gets really black really quickly, which is what I like about it. 
So, this is just kind of fun making up these uh these pirate characters. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it looks to me like you're incorporating all these different um, images of the pirate and um, making it up as you go along. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of this is, now I'm using more of the influences that I had as a kid with comics. Um, so when you were a kid, you used to um, uh, imitate the drawing you saw in the comic? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. So what did you do? Did you actually have a comic book out and... Um, and um, trying to uh, do the same sketch, or you had by imagination. A uh, part of both. Okay. Part of both. When I was, um, let me see. When I was about oh, fifth grade, I think. Mm -hmm. That would make you about ten years old. Fifth or sixth grade, one of those. Uh, we had. I uh, had friends in class. We we all like comics. And um, we used to make our own comic books. Oh, oh really? Yeah, uh -huh. in class we'd write the, you know, and the stories would be silly. They were like, you know, two two heroes would meet up and say, they'd say something like, "You want to fight?" <laughs> <laughs> so okay. it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, it, it's no uh, war, classic like War and Peace or something like that, you know. Uh -huh. But uh, but you know, we had fun with it. We. Uh, we'd uh, create different scenarios where our favorite characters, you know, and they're always fighting each other. We never did like uh, them fighting the villains. I oh, guess the one thing okay. is we wanted to see, we wanted to show that our favorite character was stronger than all the other characters, you know. Uh -huh. So. I remember for, for me, the first artist whose names I recognized were comic book artists. Oh, okay. You know, uh -huh. Everybody else came later. Everybody else came every, later? Yeah, you every other artist came later. Uh -huh. You know, for me, the, the names that I recognized first were artists like, uh, and from my time, were like, uh, John Buscema, uh Neil Adams, uh -huh. uh, Bernie Wrightson, you know, Frank Frazetta. Uh -huh. These are these are the artists that I I knew when I was a kid from you know comic books or comic related stuff. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, Gregor has asked, have you read the comic book Zorgal? I, I don't recognize that. Uh-huh. T-H-O-R-G-A-L? Zorgal? No, no, I don't think so. 
Okay, well, Gregorius, he said he doesn't recall that one. No, I mean, you know, that could be something that he's familiar with because there are comics in other, you know, other countries. Like, I, I was um, aware of some of the comic stuff that was done in France um, with uh, Mobius. I like Mobius, too, but I, I discovered him later. Mm -hmm. um, so I was aware of some of the stuff uh, by other artists in other countries. Uh, oh, if okay. comics was big in, in South America as well, you know. Okay. Well, we have Victor Lewis with us. He says, hello, everyone. Hey, Vic. You know. And in, in Spain, too, they had... Um, like I was a big fan of the um, Warren uh, line of magazines, you know they were mm -hmm. like uh, creepy, eerie, vampirella, all those uh, um, things. So you had these guys who were um, who were from Europe, from Spain, as a matter of fact, and they were really great, okay. really great uh, comic book artists. There and you had also guys from the Philippines, really, really talented, super artist. Okay. Well, Victor Lewis, he says it's me, Mr. Vic. Thank you for clarifying that. I thought it was someone different. Uh, hey, Mr. Vic, how you doing? <laughs> okay. So okay. Well, Gregor says exactly. The French wrote the script, and the pole made drawings. Ah, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, th unfortunately, that one I'm not familiar with. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. So, let me ask you, was it that um, when you were into comics, it was really the American... Um, that that was... Yeah, go ahead. No, the American uh, writers and um, uh, the ones that ink it. Yeah. You know, right. But later, I'm thinking that later in your life, you develop other comments from other places well, I, 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 around the world. Right. When I was a kid, you didn't really see the, um, the comics from all over the world. You saw what was, you know, what was from the U.S. Mm -hmm. You know, I became aware um, that there was, you know, other things uh, happening um, when, um, like in the U.S., they published a, a magazine called Heavy Metal. And Heavy Metal was a magazine that was started in France. It was, you know, of course in France it was, uh, um, they had a, the, the French uh, translation, or, or not translation, but it was, a, because it was originally in French. And that was started by um, guys like Mobius, uh, I think that the guys, other, the other guy's name was Julet, um, a bunch of guys like that, that um, they uh, got together and decided to publish their own magazine. And they were very successful, so much so that it was sold in the United States. There was an a, a, a English version. Oh, okay. You know, and I got to see it. Um, and then I was realizing that in... Uh, the the Marvel comics that I read, like Conan and, and uh, such, that they were utilizing guys from the Philippines, mm. you know, um, and and so was DC Comics. I, I I became aware of like Nestor Redondo, um, really, really, really incredible artist, uh, and um, Alfredo Alcala, Tony. Zuniga, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing their names right. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know, really, really great, great illustrators um, or comic book artists. And um, I wasn't aware of them till much later. Oh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. and, uh, and then I wasn't, like, even now, there are guys who, who draw um, great comics. Um, I believe they are either in France or they are in Canada, like in French-speaking Canada. Uh -huh. um, there's the guys, um, 
there's a comic book. I forgot the name of it. Um, gosh, it has a... Anyway, the guy has a very, very um, Mobius-like style. It's still a little different from Mobius. He has his own distinct style as well. Mm -hmm. But you can tell that Mobius was an influence. And... Um, uh, oh, gosh. Something about a grave. Uh, some... Gosh, well, if I can remember the name. But it's a Western. You know, uh, apparently Westerns are big, really big outside the United States. Uh -huh. I am, you know, I'm living in the United States and I'm not, I'm not too much into the Cowboys and Indian stuff. Uh -huh. Never was. Well, you know what, the people outside of the uh, United States kind of look at the United States like it's, um, you know, from that er era and uh, kind of feel like uh, um, Americans are more have the mindset of uh, cowboys, you know, those cowboys. I'm Did sure. You, I, I'm, I'm you sure. I'm sure they probably think that some Americans have that that, that mindset of uh, thinking that they're John Wayne or something like that or Clint Eastwood, you know. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, it's, especially if you get it from. Uh, some of the news, <laughs> you know, uh, in some of the regions of the U.S. Okay. But uh, I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know what the general opinion of, because um, the thing is, the United States is big, it's vast, and we really don't get a picture of how vast the United States is until it is. Until you, you know, you look at some other countries, like I, I was in, um, I was in, I went to Europe a long time ago, and mm -hmm. uh, I traveled with my brother, you know, we were, we were in Europe, and um, so we were in Germany initially, and then my brother says, oh, you know what, let's, let's take a trip to, to Paris, so I said, okay. So we went to Paris, we uh, drove there, and the thing is that we, I don't know how long it took, it was 30, not 30, I'm sorry, not, uh, three or four hours, it was three or four hour drive, right? Mm. Could have been longer, it was a long time ago, but it wasn't, it wasn't that, you know, it was, it was a three or four hour drive, and, and, uh, and, uh, of course, you know, in some of those, uh, some of those highways, unlike, the highways here, you can drive as fast as you want. Mm, okay. Uh, but, um, but, uh, what happened, we crossed at least three countries uh -huh. in that four hour drive. Right. Here, if you drive for four hours, you could still be in the same, same state. state. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? That's true, especially in New York. If you go upstate, I, I don't know how long it takes you to get to Albany from um, from the city, from uh -huh. New York. You know, from New York City, but it does take some hours to get there. Yeah, yeah, and like you said, three four hours. Like if you go south of New York. In three, four hours, well, in four hours, you can make it to Washington, D.C. But if you go upstate, um, I think you, you'll wind up in Albany. You're still in New York. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, Mr. Vick has said that that looked like an angry gill. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's got a kind of gap in his tooth here. I still have, well... <laughs> <laughs> You still got your teeth, right, Gil? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I still got most of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Big asked, do you read any manga? No, no. There's one manga that I really looked at and I said, wow. It, well, I, I, let me be honest. Right now, it's been a long time since I bought any comic book because I, I just, um, I, I, I'm kind of out of, you know, just, just kind of 
it, it's kind of gone beyond me. It's, I don't see the things that I, I, I saw when I was a kid. Um, and um, so there's, you know, even though I see some work that looks really good, and especially some works, like I said, that are done outside of the United States. And, um, but it's hard for me to get, like I would get the um, uh, Undertaker, that stick book. Undertaker is a, a Western, um, and I, I really like the art in that. Um, oh, you were trying to remember the I was the trying title. to remember okay. the title, yeah. Uh -huh. So I really like the art in that, but, you know, I, I just can't get it. If I could get that, I would get it. Um, but as far as manga is concerned... There is one title that I was really impressed with the art, and it was called, um, I think it's called Vagabond. And I, I really liked the art that was in there, um, but not enough to, to, to buy it, you know. Um, uh, but I was, I, I really liked that, that uh, the artist there. Um, but if, if I could buy any book right now, it would be Undertaker, even though... I can't read French. Mm -hmm. You know, the artwork is just beautiful to look at. Um, okay. okay. Well, Gregor was, was saying, you know, as we were uh, speaking, um, he had written in and said he was ruled by the communists. Um, he didn't have much choice, but with time it got better and better. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. And I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about reading the works from other comic book artists. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sometimes it's that availability, you know. Here in the States, too, you know, um, it's just if they don't think it's going to sell, you're not going to see it. You're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to look for it yourself. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So that's my... I got. I can do another drawing. That was oh, kind of fun. That, that yeah, that that came out nice. And um, yeah. Um, let me see. Now that's a real rough-looking pirate. Still on the theme of pirates, right? Hmm. Okay. Oh, let me go back to this. Uh, this is a great, uh, like I said, when I started, um, I was doing this colored pencil drawing because I, I saw um, other, other artists doing it and, and I saw it in uh, Walt Disney artist. You know, they would do, they would just do a preliminary and it kind of helps loosen things up. Okay. So, okay, let's, let's, um, let me see. I'm going to think of it, you know, when you're um, drawing from your imagination, like I said, I have things that I can use as reference. Um, let me see. Okay. Let me come down a little bit. Okay. Well, but, um, Mr. Um, Mr. Vic says, for people our age, I think Lone Wolf and Cub is something you would enjoy. Okay. Uh-huh. You've heard of those before? I've heard of Lone Wolf. That's been around for some time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Lone Wolf and Cub. Um, okay, I'm going to see how much I can exaggerate here. Oh, okay. So, um, Gregor says, wow. I think he was responding to your... Uh, drawing that you just put put away put up top oh. on your put up top on your computer uh. okay well Mr. Vic want to know have you heard about the most dangerous female pirate no no I didn't uh. I'm not big I, I mean I, I like the the look and you know the drawing of uh, pirates, but I, I'm I'm not big on the history. Uh huh. Okay. Um. 
uh, I think Gregor's was axing. You know, Saguana. Okay. Oh, he's he's guessing the answer. Yeah, I think he is. I think he is. Uh, uh, okay, well, Mr. Vick says, uh, we are learning about light and dark painting. Uh-huh. Light and dark painting. That's what he's learning right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Big says, uh, let's see, Sang Yi Sale. I believe he, this is uh, the artist he's learning from. Oh, okay. Unless they're trying to still guess the name of the woman pirate. Oh, oh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, Zhang Yi So, I think that's how you say it. Zhang Yi So. Yeah, because they were um, Asian pirates. Oh, okay. No, that's the female pirate. Yeah. That's what, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wrong. You were right. You were right, Gil. Uh -huh. Okay. So. Let's see about this. <laughs> Mr. Vic, we will remember this day as the day Gil was right. <laughs> <laughs> I see you picked up your mechanical pencil. It's like that it allows you to really work out um, precisely, you know, details in your drawing, where your other pencil was used for more bro broader uh -huh. lines and. Yes. Uh -huh. So, okay. Mm. Yeah. One of the things that, you know what, when you're, when at least when I'm working from life, I'm trying very hard to um to just do what's in front of me when i'm working from my imagination like this one of the things that are f is fun is that there's just a whole bunch of marks that i would do here that i would never do in life now i can i can add this to what you know um to my life drawing um but it was invented really as I'm drawing along as I'm, I'm drawing from my imagination because I'm trying you know I, I guess it's it's more creative mm, okay because I'm inventing the world that I, I see in my head so I'm inventing this face that I see in my head. I have nothing else to go by. You know, except maybe like I can look, you you know, um, I can find some inspiration in, in photos or in something that someone else did, but um, not this one. <laughs> I'm not going by, you know, I'm just kind of inventing this as I go along. 
when that happens oh your pencil broke the okay. point the point broke. the point broke yes yeah. so now yeah. I gotta go to my trusty sharpener and there we go thing is that, that sharpener gives such a sharp point Gregor says, I like the supposedly unnecessary lines. It's like looking for the most appropriate one. Mm -hmm. It uh, brings something that I cannot name. Yeah, you know what I like, uh, whose work I like, that um, his lines are just it's seemingly all over the place, but it gives a kind of life to his drawings. Uh, Domier. Domier is a French artist, um, lived, I think, either around the time or before Degas, and uh, he uh, was famous for his political cartoons, um, which got him in trouble back then. Oh, uh, okay. But, um, uh, what you want to call it, he would, you know, he would do these drawings especially of lawyers and judges uh, back then and uh, they were they were um, very lively This looks like a pirate. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I, I broke again. Yeah. Let me switch on over to something that's not going to break that quickly. What? Is it? Okay. Is it you putting too much pressure on yeah. the door? Okay. Yeah, you were saying you don't know if that looked like a pie, but I don't know, maybe the hat. Maybe uh Well I haven't drawn a hat yet. It's that's a not scarf. A oh okay. And this is a scarf and the hat. Oh, that's okay. So what's hat. about what's about uh, the scarf? I see the scarf. Yeah, the, that's a, that would be a hat. Above oh, the scarf. okay. But I, I really didn't make enough room for that hat. Mm -hmm. So.
So yeah, there's another pirate. Yes. I think it looks like a pirate. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. So, you know what, let me go ahead and have a go at the character that, um, that we all have in front of us. At this guy, let me see. Uh, let me see if I could uh, do something with. I'm I'm not going to copy it outright. I'm just going to use it as reference. So there's an interesting thing I I saw. Um, I, you know, I get the, the Disney Channel, or um, what is the Disney, um, the streaming platform, right, that Disney has. Mm -hmm. And what I like to watch on that is um, when they talk about how these artists create, these animators and designers create the stuff that they do for their movies. And one of the things that they tell like, uh, you know, as they, they also teach um, the up-and-coming designers. And what they tell them is, look, um, I don't want an accurate drawing of what, um, you know, what your reference is or whatever. I want you to use it and tell me how that drawing makes you feel. I want you to get the feeling of the drawing. And um, which is... Um, really translate and communicate so much more than than just um, just copying a, a photo for reference or something like that. You know? and, and who told you that? No, no, I, I don't know the name of the artist. Uh -huh. You know, it was just a, um, it was just one of these artists that worked for Disney. Uh -huh. And he has suggested that, um, I, I think that was what was taught to him. I want you to give me an idea of what it is that how how this makes you feel because that's what they want to communicate. They wanna they they want the type of things that people respond to. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, Ida Art says amazing, very inspiring. And she says, thank you. And we have the hand clapping oh, okay. uh, emoji. Thank you. Yeah. And Mr. Vic says, it looks like someone from Treasure Island. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we we're talking about the last one you did. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. So this is very loose interpretation of this photograph what I can do with this.
So it's funny, I don't like, um, when I was a kid, like I was saying before, I didn't go into much for stories of the American West. Oh, um, it didn't appeal to you? It didn't appeal to me. Really? Yeah. Okay. I like pirates. Uh-huh. Well, when you were a kid, you didn't play Cowboys and Indians? Nope. Oh, okay. Nope, didn't play that. Well, Gregor says, some wise artist said, we always paint ourselves. I think he was right. Mm. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Pirates were interesting. Huh? What did you say? Pirates were interesting. Pirates were, oh, really? Yeah. So, what I did like was not so much Tales of the American West, but um, I liked, as a kid, um, like uh, um, if there was some kind of um, historical context to it, I liked, you know. Um, like as I, especially as I got older. Well, supposedly pirates would um, uh, steal, um, I think at the time, the king's, uh, steal from the king's boats and, uh, am I, yeah, treasures, I would assume treasures that came from a certain country and they would steal those boats. Am I right or am I wrong? Or? Well, um, they, they would not necessarily steal the boats, they would... Um, um, they would, they would, you know, they'd rob them blind. They, you, know, uh, you said they robbed the what? Rob them blind. Oh, okay. You know, um, take whatever treasure or bounty they had. They didn't bury treasure, really. They, they, there was no buried treasure. They, they spent that thing faster than they can steal it. You know, that, that's just what they did. But, um. Like, there's always stories you hear about some pirates buried treasure. They didn't really do that. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about wouldn't they... I mean, from what I gathered, pirates were sailing on the seas uh -huh. and whatever. And right. From, right, and right. Other, and other boats would be those from a particular country that had a gold or things like that. And the pirates would steal that. Yeah, not just, but not just, the, you know, not just boats and things like that. I think more often they would, uh, you know, go where people were living, raid settlements in the New World and so forth, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, especially in the Caribbean. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. Well, Gregor said, after a few strokes, I saw Conan's face. <laughs> and uh, he said, I love this character. Yeah. I love this character. So. <laughs> doesn't have much by way of eyebrows uh -huh. so I'm going to put more eyebrows than he has oh okay
Miguel uh -huh. with us, and he says, OMG, oh my God, so amazing. Thank you, Miguel. Your art of this of this reference is so much different than um, than the person posing for it. Mm -hmm. It looks it looks more sinister. Ah. Yeah. You know. I'm not talking about the reference. I'm talking about your drawing. Right. I understand. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, and gave him bigger eyebrows and an angry look. Because if I was taking that advice about um, drawing what you feel, not what you see, uh -huh. then I, this is what I wanted to come across. Just, okay. You know, because a, a happy pirate just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> you know, a pirate that you get along with, you know. You know, it's just... Uh, He's not the type of person that you would want to meet or talk with over long periods of time, you know? Right. Uh -huh. So. Okay. Well, Gregor is, uh, says the figure from the photo has an eye catcher under the title. You will see what I can do. Okay. The treasure is mine. Take out my Mitsubishi pencil. Uh -huh. I love this pencil. It's so dark. Okay. That's why you love it. Yeah, it can make... Uh, you got to be careful with it because it can make definitely uh, dark marks that are like final, you know. Oh, okay. Hard to erase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Gregoire says, I'm talking like a golem. Golem? Yeah, G O L U M. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. So, Gregoras, are you drawing along with us? I'm assuming that you are based on what you're um, typing. Okay. It's interesting what you're doing with that hat. Um. You know. Yeah. Yeah, well that hat definitely distinguished him as a pirate. You know. Well, Mr. Vic says, I'm doing still life practice of cheese. Okay. So Gregor says, uh, that one is a cook by a cat. Oh, okay. So this guy is the cook. Say it again. This guy is a cook. Oh, okay. Is that what I'm saying? Okay. Well, I think I like the stuff that I did for my imagination better than this. Say again, you like the ones that you did by your imagination? Yeah. Uh huh. I don't like this one as much. Really? I think it's just as good. Yeah, I think it's just. 
was good. Okay. I think this will be it. But it was all fun. I think if I were to do something here, what I would do, let me see if I, um, where are my paints? Okay. Here we go. Okay. Is it doing something else now? No, I'm going to still do, I'm going to still work on this. What I want to do is take out some of this red here. Okay. You know, and, uh. Okay, well then let me uh, uh, continue on with the chat. Uh, Gregor says, uh, let's see, uh, I must add that I would like to cook like this. Oh. Uh -huh. And uh, he said, the women is always right. <laughs> okay, well, Mr. Vick said, do you draw sports figure in motion? Do you um, draw sports figures in, I, in motion? I, I haven't. Uh -huh. um, no, I, I just haven't. Oh, okay. You haven't. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, let me continue on. Harlequin says, uh, can I tag my version on Instagram for you? Once sure. Once I have finally finished it. Uh, and not only that, please do. Okay. I would love to see it. Okay. So you got it, uh, Harlequin. Yes. Yes. And uh, Claudine Stone. Now Claudine is with us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the sharper angles on the nose, eyes, and mouth really made it. Okay. Uh-huh. So... <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to get rid of some of that oh. red. Oh, that's in the... Oh, really? In the drawing. Mm -hmm. Hmm. a little distracting. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. 
you know what I can't go in there with the pencil because some of this white paint is wet but uh -huh. heck I can go ahead and use the black paint oops Let's have some areas. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I see you're not only using the white, but you're also using the black. Is that to distinguish? Um, Just to make some corrections, because once I use that white paint, I can't, um, I can't use the pencil right away. Oh, okay. Because, like you just said a moment ago, it's wet. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not crazy about this. I, you know what? It's very good. I don't know why you're not... Um, I just am not. You're not liking it. And I think the more I continue to draw or paint over this thing, it's not getting any better. <laughs> So, but this whole session was fun. said uh, the sharper angles on the nose, eyes, and mouth really made it, so. Okay. Thank you, Claudine. Mm. So. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Oh. Well, Claudine says, to be fair. The stock photo doesn't give enough information to do a lot of detail. So you have to fill in what's missing, which is more challenging. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I, 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 just to be honest, I, um, when I was doing it from my imagination, I actually had a better time with it. You know, um, it's just,
I'm going into full on painting here. Yes, it's becoming more of a painting than a drawing, right? Yeah. <laughs> You know, what the heck, wherever this leads me to, uh, there's nothing I had planned. It's funny. It's funny. I, I hadn't intended to paint at uh, all. Uh huh. And I wound you know, up painting. I was just thinking that. I mean, we're thinking the same things. I was just thinking that. You said you wanted to draw, and you came up with these interesting uh, sketches, you know, and uh, you pull out the paint. I think this that's the you wanting to correct some things. I think. That desire to wanting to correct some things uh -huh. led you to pull out that paint. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But doesn't it? Uh, you know, it's it's um. It, it's just, I guess, to also just explore and just like being creative about my solutions you know I mean there were no rules like I wasn't saying to myself oh today I'm just painting in gouache you know um, if anything okay okay well Mr. Vic says imagining if you like it says and this is the best act of creation itself mm. artist creator and destroyer <laughs> <laughs> destroyer <laughs> jeez I'm painting him now say again now I'm painting now yeah you are you know, and, and uh, no, not to say that this isn't good. This is really very good. But what you had down in pencil was was excellent, too. I just, I just wasn't happy with it. Okay. Was it you that I heard, heard this from? It's knowing when to stop? Uh-huh. You know? That that's that's, uh, that's part of artistic, uh, you know, uh, artistic ability to know when to stop. Uh, that's, that's um, Sergeant um, Sergeant said that. It, well, what he says is that every artist should have a little man with a stick. Now, this is his words, not mine's. Okay. Uh huh. The, next to him, so that when his painting is done, the little man would hit him to let him know when to stop. Okay. Yeah, those are his words, not mine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Mr. Vick said he had, I had a hard time making a tan color last week. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So how did you resolve it, Mr. Vick? Mm -hmm. 
but I didn't laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> This is getting a little longer than I was planning on. All in an effort to try and make this doggone thing work. But I think I can only go with for so long. Okay. Well, Mr. Vic says, everything I did, I didn't like. Sometimes to red, yellow, and a one runner. Uh, sometimes to red, yellow, and a one point, it turned into this light cement looking color. Okay. Everything I did, I didn't like. Mm. Sometimes to red, yellow, and at one point it turned into this light cement looking color. Okay. Okay, he's waiting for you to do the hat. Well, I'm not going to do too much with the hat, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. I mean, I hadn't planned to. To me, it looks like you did do the hat, but um, is he talking about um, making it a more gold color? Or? Oh, I'm, I'm not coloring it. This is going to be black and white. Oh, okay. The only thing I can think of is just hitting a little bit more on the shapes here. says probably the most difficult question for an artist when to finish yeah yeah I think I, I agree with you Gregor and, on and that. when to give up well not give up but well that that's uh that's an yeah. old saying that um, works of art are not 
finished, they're just abandoned. Oh. Mm. And this is hardly a work of art. More of a sketch than anything else. I will do with oh, the Oh, that with Claudine agrees. She said, I agree. Okay. What I will do from here on in is just outline certain things. And just... outline will hold things in whoops it's a lot of black um, so you're going to just do the outline yeah uh -huh. Gregor said, Gregor said, Gil, save for the future. We start first, then we finish the other way around. It's a bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. This outline kind of make it feel like an old illustration. Well, like I said, nothing great, but I think I can start to live with, uh, with what's happening.
Gregor said, epic. Thank you, you were kind. Alright. I think I just want to do one more thing. One more, <laughs> one more thing and then I'm, I'm, I'm done. And then you're done. I'm done. Okay. I just want to get rid of all of this right here. Really? Yeah. Maybe. Oops. Not bad. Oh, you like it? You liking it a little better now? Yeah, a little better. Let me just put back in that this black line that I took out here. This black outline. Not too much like the uh, like the reference. Just took it as reference, not to copy it, but to come up with something based on uh, what the reference, um, how, how the reference directed me. And that alone made it fun. Yeah, I think I've I've already gone longer than I should have, right? Uh, you you went pretty short today. Hmm. Yeah, you have. But um, I can understand why you kept going. You know. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> You're done. I'm done. Now? So yeah. So, yeah, it was fun. Good crop of drawings for right now. So, listen, thank you for being here. Who knows what happened, right? I started out not wanting to paint. Then I wound up painting, <laughs> even though I started drawing. And I came up with three drawings. So, that, that's, a, that's a good good outing, right? That's a good way to end. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, we will be back next week. And listen, um, like I was saying before, there are there just below here. There's like merch that if you guys are interested, that includes now prints from um, some of the paintings that I've done before. Um, not necessarily on the um, on the live stream, and as well as art books. Um, there, you know, there's a lot. Look down below. Okay, and um, thank you for being here. We'll be here next week. Um, if you have any comments or want to let me know what you think, uh, we are always welcome to that, right? Yes, we are. Yes. All right. So we'll, 
So Karen and I will see you guys next week. Okay. All right. Bye, bye everybody. All right.